Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can mod Skyrim for the GOG edition uh, in Linux using the Heroic Games Launcher. So first, you're going to have to download a couple of things. You're going to have to download the Vortex Nexus Mod Manager. This, that's what we're going to be using. So we're going to download this, the Nexus Vault Manager. You go to this website, click Manual Download, and you're going to download the executable. Next, you're going to go into Skyrim Script Extender. And you're going to go to this website. Make sure it is by Sky, SKSE Silverlock.org. And you're going to go into, you're going to download that GOG Anniversary Edition of the game. You're going to have to install, install Skyrim. I'm going to install it right now and then we're going to cut through when it is installed. Okay, so Skyrim finished installing. Now that Skyrim finished installing, you want to run it once so for me i'm running it with proton g proton 109 this shouldn't matter but this is how i'm running it so if i run it as you can see it's installing some red distributable that's that's uh just like windows dependencies okay it's launching now all right okay so i just click okay okay and then we click play So because we're on the GOG version, we don't want to like click down or anything. So once you open this up, you can quit out. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to go into browse files and then you're going to go into wherever you installed your, your, the, the Skyrim, where you, where you downloaded the Skyrim script center, you're going to open it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to drag all these files into here next what you're going to do is you're going to see skyrim script skyrim se launcher.exe what you're going to do is you're going to rename it into something like i don't know you can rename it to whatever you want i'm going to just put out that back at the end and we're going to make a copy of this so control c control p and we're going to name this copy skyrim se launcher so whenever we click play, it's going to call this, which is a Skyrim script extender. So now let's install Vortex. After we do that, what you want to do is you want to click on these, these, these arrows. You want to go the way down. And you want to click, you want to go to Wine Tricks. Open Wine Tricks UI. Now select default presix. You want to click OK. Then select install window DLL component, click OK. And what you're going to look for is going to be .NET Desktop 6. Check it, then click OK. And now you wait. Once that finishes, the window will pop up again. Click OK, then click Cancel. Close it. Click One Checks again, and you see install components .NET Desktop 6. That's good. Now, what you want to do is you want to click run exe on prefix. And you want to search now for, for your vortex that the vortex exe you, you installed, the vortex executable. Click it. Wait a little bit. It should not show this window. So we click install. Don't worry about the path. It's just going to install it on your prefix. So you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It'll be installing. So instead of clicking run vortex, uncheck this and click finish. Now go to here, go to add game and give this and this I give this a name. Uh next uh vortex mod manager. That's what I'm gonna name it. And on select executable, you want to go to your Skyrim prefix. Go to drive C. Program files, Black Tree Gaming, Vortex, Vortex.exe. On one setting, I, I like to set it on as the same version as Skyrim. So Proton G, Proton 10.9. That's the one version I gave to Skyrim. Then, and and uh, make sure that one prefix, by the way, is the same one as the Skyrim one. 
So I should have set up the path. So as you can see, this is the path to my Skyrim one prefix. So I'm gonna click choose, and it should it should it should have it should have it like this, pointing straight to your Skyrim one prefix. Once once you see that that is like that, click finish. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run Vortex Mod Manager. You should get a, a white screen like this. Yep. And then it should fully load like that. Next, what you want to do is you want to go to games. On search game, put Skyrim. And then click Sp Skyrim Special Edition. It's the one I got. Click Manage. It says it hasn't automatically discovered it, and you have to set the game folder manually. That's OK. Click OK. So click this. Click Home. And you want to navigate it to where you installed Skyrim. So I installed my Skyrim in Games, Heroic, and then Skyrim Anniversary Edition. So once you see, once you see, uh, your, your the folder or where you install it. So for me, we X Games Heroic Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Click Open, and it should detect it that it's on GOG. If it doesn't, click GOG, then click Select. Now you're managing Skyrim. So now mods can be deployed. Click Fix, and then click Next, and then it'll say that there's a like a little problem click apply fix it'll take you here what you want to do now is click suggest and it'll suggest this click apply now you want to copy everything afterwards copy it go to download change change this to this and then at the end put downloads and then click apply this is going to put whatever mods it downloaded at the, as, uh, in, in the same root folder as the uh, where the mods are installed. That way, if you delete Vortex mods, since the directory will be located in, you'll delete both. So you don't got to like worry about it. Once you do that, you should be fine now. What you want to do now is click Downloads, Log In, click this icon so you can log in. Then it should open up a link. Log in with your Nexus account. Once you're logged in, it should, show, it should put you in a window like this. Click Authorize. Then click Continue. Now you should be logged in to in Nexus. Now let's install our mod. So let's go to Nexus Mods and let us install our mod. Is that, let, let me just do it here. So Skyrim Special Edition. I'm not going to go down so I don't see like any form mods. And let's install Realm of Lore. Grand. Go to Files and click Mod Manager Download. I'm going to copy it. So you copy that link, then you go back to Nexus. You, go, you, go, you click Download, you click this icon, and you paste in the URL. You click Download again, click Continue. In here, You'll be prompted with option to log in again. Log in. If it doesn't, then wow, that's crazy. That's awesome. And you can just click slow download. I asked it for me, so I'm gonna have to log in again. Log in, and then once you log in, you should have this option. So click slow download. If you have Nexus Premium, you can click high download. Once it's in the background, you can click cancel. And then you just have to wait for it to finish. Once it finishes, you should you should everything here should be green. It should be deploying. I think I fix on that. So every, so everything seems. If you see if, if if the results are like this, that means you did you did it good. Let's also install Sky UI. So click here. Go to files. Go to mod manager. Download. You see, you see, it's asking for the required files. Remember, we saw this already. Click download, copy the link, go back to Vortex, go to downloads, the link as per usual. Click continue. 
you don't have to log in again as you're remembering now click slow download now wait once it begins downloading in the background you can click cancel and finish we're going to finish deploying when it finishes deploying good and that should be it i don't recommend clicking this instead i, I recommend closing vortex going back to heroic okay i'm not the finish we go back to skyrim and we click play now remember how we change our skyrim launcher to instead run the skyrim script extender well since we did that uh it will automatically once we click play launch the skyrim script extender and then play that game for us you see the logo so we click new and you see start new game creations are currently loaded no achievements are disabled yes that means your mods are loaded you're good and there you go we're we have modded Skyrim in GOG. So I'm gonna name this character. Actually, I wanna make like a Stealth Archer because I, I've never played Stealth Archer in Skyrim. Um, I'm gonna make it a Dark Elf. I'm gonna make it a Gornian actually. We have female Gornian. Mm, I'm gonna make a male Gornian actually. And name it Argonian. Argonian. Uh, there. there you go. Oh shit, I should have. Should have added some stuff. And as you can see, perfectly modded. I'm in real blow cram. If you guys don't know, I think Skyrim default brightness is too high. So you can see, you can tell that this is the, uh, uh, the GOG version. There's no store option or any crazy shit like that. So as you can see, I, I like to lower the brightness because as, as you saw, the, I just saw it was like that. I lower it and I'll check this out. L look how in an instant, everything looks much, much better. You can see more glow. There's more view. So much better. I recommend lowering your black brightness in Skyrim. If you if you, if you want to, I think it looks better. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. So like my sensitivity. Audio, if I'm missing. So perfect. Now let's go to wide run. You should see. Oh, by the way, Sky UI is also loaded. You can see it all works perfect. Skyrim is officially modded. Hey, you run. Need a horse? Talk to my father, Skullbar. Okay, that's nice of you. All right, I'll see you later. So that's how you mod uh, in Skyrim, in the GOG version. Uh, it took me like I want to say four hours to figure to figure out how to do this. I hope my struggle eases your pain. If you ever were interested in modding Skyrim for a GOG edition. I was searching on YouTube and I saw that no one, no one really had like a tutorial or a way to to mod it in GOG. I thought that was pretty sad. I, even though Skyrim is per, the preferred way to mod, to mod, even though Steam is the preferred way to mod Skyrim, uh, I figure I figured I come. I have to at least show this. Maybe it might help some people out. So if it helps you out. Uh, and enjoy. Hope, hope you're happy. And I don't mean that running me, like, really hope you're happy. Let me freak this guy. God. Yes, yeah, beat that guy up. I need, his, I, need his, I need his sword. I need his sword. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, good job. Oh my god. Oh my god. Me everything. Me everything. Yes. I don't want this stupid ass dagger. Give me the sword. Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. No! You're gonna pay for that. Ah, oh, shit. No! 